Welcome to Purple Banditos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold. I'm Purple Rodri. In the last episode, we took on Saffron's gym leader, Sabrina. And after barely hanging on by a thread of our life, we managed to defeat her and obtain the Marsh Badge. In today's episode, we are going to be making our way westwards, like you guys told me, and see if we can make it to the next city and take on the next gym leader. As you can see, I've gone ahead and put Den back in the Poke Box because Den's going to be resting up for a little bit today while we continue our, our adventure. I also know we're gonna have to have stripes out because we're gonna need it to chop down some stuff and just, you know, beat the gym because we're not gonna be able to do it without stripes. All right, let's go ahead and go through here. This town's pretty cool. There seems to be like a game corner or something of sorts and just a bunch of crazy stuff. Uh, but today I really do want to get this uh, gym done and over with so we can keep on moving on. All right, it seems like we have made it to Celadon City's Pokemon Gym. We're gonna be taking on the leader, Erica, the nature loving princess sounds like a tree hugging hippie to me all right let's talk to this guy oh this gym is great it's full of strong trainers i'm pretty sure this old man right here used to be like this gym is full of pretty pretty girls so i'm pretty sure he was like lurking on them but they kind of changed that here in this game all right let's go ahead and walk inside of this place and see what awaits us Ooh, this is fancy wait where where is that guy that calls me a legend? Where did he go? I don't know if I can win without him. Uh, this tree looks like it can be cut down, so it is a good idea to have stripes then. Because we're going to be chop, chop, chopping through here. Oh, man, I can't see anything in this place. What the heck? Uh, there's a couple of twins up there. Too young for me, though. Way too young for me. And it's going to be a mazy looking sort of thing. Let's see if I get... No! There's a trainer there. Don't want to take her on. Oh, man, this is going to get me in some trouble, isn't it? Let's see, this is a dead end, so I guess we will have to take on that lady because I don't know what other path we can take. Uh, we can only exit through none of these? What the heck is going on here? This is very confusing because I've never done this before in my life, so I really have no idea what I'm supposed to do. All right, we're just going to go ahead and battle this girl. I'm sure it won't be too difficult because it's a grass-type gym, and we do have one of the freaking awesomest fire types in this game. So we should be able to knock it out quite nicely. Hope you guys are having a nice Monday. I know I am. This is my first week off from summer. So yes, I am going to start, you know, knocking out some stuff and just getting a lot of crap done. I've been pretty busy lately. Uh, this past week, you know, I had like a bunch of exams. I had like three. So I've just been like cramming stuff out. But now I can finally just relax and just, you know, record and just get more stuff out there and just have a good time. And that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm really excited for my summer to begin because I know I've I felt like, you know, a lot of pressure on me with with my summer classes since instead of like, you know, what what is three months of learning gets packed into like one and it, you're just like cramming non-stop like a test every week. It's ridiculous, but you know, that's done over with and now it's time for us to freaking chill and play some games and just have a good time and I'm very excited for that. Okay, Jump Pluff is coming out. It doesn't matter. We'll just be able to sweep through them. A lot of you guys always ask me, like, hey, you know, when do you normally upload? And I actually upload whenever I have the free time. So now that I have a lot of free time, guess what that means? We're going to be getting more stuff up. So I'm very excited for that. Uh, the best way for you guys to know uh, when a video goes up, uh, I have to say this because a lot of people have been asking me, is uh, follow me on Twitter. Uh, and like me on Facebook. The links are actually below, so make sure you click those. Uh, you know, it's the easiest way. You might as well just do it. Why not? And, you know, it keeps us in, in touch. And uh, if you guys want to see about my personal life and stuff, too, I tend to put a lot of crap on there. Um, that's kind of stupid, but I'm sure you guys will, will be entertained by it. Okay, uh, what the heck is this? Why is it raining inside of here? Wait. Oh, you have got to be kidding me if I went the wrong way. You have got... To be kidding me, game. Um, we are going to have to take on the Twinsies, too. So, I, who do I have second right now? I'm pretty sure it's our Velos. Okay, we have Velos and Zuko coming out. So, now things are about to get very, very exciting in this place. Or, wait, yes, we both have type advantages. So, things are going to get crazy up in here. We're both level 50. And I'm just going to keep flamethrowering. And Velos is going to be flying. We'll be able to take them out. Another thing that actually happened this past weekend uh, was, you know, you guys know from the name of Zuko and Sokka, I'm a big, like, um, Avatar, you know, fan. So, I, the Legend of Korra finale was this weekend. I know a lot of you guys have been tweeting at me, like, did you like it? I thought it was great. I thought it was really good. Did not expect some of that stuff that happened. You know, I'm not going to spoil anything for you guys um, who haven't seen it. I do recommend you see it, though. Totally awesome. It was great. Uh, the only thing is, 
I don't know how they're going to be able to build off a second season from that. Um, I really don't know. If you guys have some theories for it, I'd love to hear them. Uh, because I've been talking to my roommate about it. I've been talking to uh, a couple friends about it. And a lot of people just don't know where it's going to go from there. I've read some interviews and stuff, but... You know, I just don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Because, you know, the the main villain is going to be, you know, I, I just don't want to spoil anything. But I don't know. It's going to be it's gonna be something crazy. And I'm just excited to see where it goes from there. All right. We defeated these twins. And now are we finally going to be able to... What the heck is going on here? Do we not have to fight these little girls? Dude, I'm like at a dead end. Okay. Why am I fighting these little trainers then um, for no reason? Am I just like battling out for fun? When did battling become fun? When did we start doing this for fun? Okay, um, we have hit another dead end. I have no idea what the heck is going on here. This is really making me confused. Okay, um, what the heck is going on? We defeated these two little girls um, and there is these plants blocking us uh what it what the heck is this um i really have no idea i'm gonna be back once i figure it out so it'll be like a minute be right back okay so i finally figured it out there is an opening down here that i did not notice before and that is why i couldn't get through and now we're gonna have another trainer battle i think we're finally getting to the gym leader which is good for us but there are also a ton of trainers here which i did not expect to be battling you know what we should have this in the bag Zuko's doing great. Zuko's, you know, killing them like no tomorrow. I mean, fainting, fainting. Remember, you don't kill in Pokemon. You only faint them. Then you take them to Nurse Joy, and she heals them back up real nice for you. We should take down this Executor with one hit. If not, then this little grass type is a tank. And there we go. Now we're flowing. Now we're getting stuff going, and we should be completely fine. These gyms have been giving me a little bit more trouble than I'm used to. It seems like the Johto ones were a little bit easier, uh, and these these ones have gotten a little bit more difficult. Okay, um, let's see if we can find an opening here then and run through it as well. Uh, yes, yes, I actually did. I don't know if battling this chick was the right thing to do, but I guess we're going to do it now, and hopefully I'll be able to bypass her. And if not, we're going to make our way through and then take on the gym leader finally. This chick has three people. Oh, okay, we got this. It's just three little Pokemon. No big deal. I say this now and watch her KO us magically out of nowhere. Okay, let's just go ahead and use this flamethrower and let's just knock stuff out. Okay, these these shouldn't be too hard, you know. When you put a plant into some fire, what happens? The fire gets extinguished. No, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. The the plant burns down. Okay, so that's that's what we're gonna be doing today. I'm not sure what Pokemon this this trainer is gonna use, but I guess we'll find out. I, I wonder why these gyms are so much harder than Johto. Like I've been thinking about that. Like Johto, a little bit easier, didn't have as much trouble. You come to Kanto and you're like, whoa, does that mean the trainers in Johto are slacking? Or what's going on there? Maybe they just had less time to train? I have no idea. A Carnivine, holy crap. I'm pretty sure that's not a Kanto Pokemon, but we're going to take it down nonetheless. This is pretty much just going to be a Zuko sweeping gym. That's all we're going to do. We're just going to blaze through it and hope to goodness that Zuko stays alive and that she magically doesn't pull some craziness out of her. Okay, so we defeated the Beauty Julia. Eh, not as beautiful as a couple uh, gym leaders I've seen, but okay, I'll, I'll call. We can we can call it that. All right, let's see where the heck was this exit. Here we go. Uh, can I run? Top? Yeah. All right. Now we're going to be able to chop down this tree. Woo! This is why Stripes is the MVP, because Stripes chopped down the trees. That is why we're going to win this. And woo! We have made it to the gym leader. I'm very excited to take her on, so let's go ahead and do this. Hello! Lovely weather, isn't it? It's so pleasant, I'm afraid I might doze off. My name is Erica. I'm the leader of Celadon Gym. Oh, you are from Johto, you say? How nice. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that you wished to challenge me. I know. I have been training myself on not only flower arrangement, but also Pokemon battle. I shall not lose. 
So here we go, Rodri versus Erica, the grass top lady here in Celadon City. We are challenged by leader Erica, who's looking very nice on that kimono. She's going to send out Jump Luff, and I am about to sweep her team. I hope you guys are excited for this. I am going to go for the blast burn. Oh, why did I go for the blast burn? I'm not even thinking now. I'm going crazy, but we're still going to do it. Yeah, we're gonna do it. Why not do it? I can switch out between Zuko and Velos for this. And we should have this battle in the bag. I just thought I'd open with a big hitter. That's what you have to do. When you go out to battle, you're not gonna mess around. You're gonna come right out and punch the opponent in the face. So that's what I'm doing. I'm punching Erica in the face. That's what you do against gym leaders. Especially if they're girls. I'm just kidding. I am completely kidding. Seriously. Don't hit girls. There you go. Alright, we're gonna send out Velos to go up against Atangela. Woo! That, that sounds really fun. And now I'm going to go fly into the sky and hope we can take down this Medusa-looking little fellow. Uh, we should be looking quite good. Erica's Pokemon seem to be strong, though. I'll give that to her. She's got some strong Pokemon. But from here on out, it just keeps going up until eventually I'm going to have to train my Pokemon out to some crazy high levels. And I'm going to be like, ah, why do I have to train him up to, like, level 80? And that's going to be fun. You've also, you guys have also asked me, where do you train? Grassy areas and trainers. That's all I can tell you. Oh, like the best area you're gonna train is near Indigo Plateau, stuff like that, where the highest level Pokemon are, because that's where you're gonna be able to get the most XP. I recommend just using a type advantage against whatever you're training and just you know blaze through it, because that that's about all you can really do. All right, we're gonna send out. Man, I'm just gonna go crazy now. Let's just send out Glamis and let's just make things exciting. Why not? I never thought I was gonna bring out Glamis in this fight, but all of a sudden Glamis is out, and now we're really gonna do it. Victory Bell is. Oh, mother fudge! Of course, it's the highest level one. Um, I'm gonna go for the Thunder Wave, and then we will go for the Dragon Rush. Hey, you're going for a sunny day? That's that. Oh, Solar Beam. Okay, not a good idea. Not as good of idea as I thought, but Sunny Day also will power up Zuko's moves, so maybe it wasn't that bad of an idea. The sunlight is strong with this one, uh, says Master Yoda. I'm gonna go for the Dragon Rush, and that is probably gonna do a good amount of damage, I would expect, hopefully. Yes, that actually did. Victory Bell is going for the Leaf Storm. Uh, how much damage is that gonna do on me? Hopefully not a whole bunch. Oh, it did a whole bunch. Whatever. Whatever. I don't care. You're gonna get KO'd here uh, relatively soon. You know, Glamis at least paralyzed you. And I'm just gonna go for an extreme speed. So I at least land something on you before you KO me. Because I'm not gonna risk it. And if you hit the paralysis, then I will take you down. And that did a lot of damage. Victory Bell went for the synthesis, which is gonna heal it up. It's playing smart, Erica. That's smart, that's smart. I guess you don't have enough money uh, from being the Celadon gym leader to buy yourself full restores. So I, I can see what you're doing. I can see what you're doing there. I'm going to go for another Dragon Rush. And we seem to be a little faster than it right now, um, which is good for us. I wish I would have hit a crit. All right, the Leaf Storm is going to take us out. But that will mean it is time to bring out Zuko. So we aren't looking too bad. We aren't looking too shabby. And what? Really? We didn't take it. We didn't get taken down. What the heck's going on here? I'm gonna go for another Dragon Rush, and we are not missing. It seemed like Glamis is in it to win it this time. Oh, it flinched? No! And now we miss! Oh, it's purpose. Okay. Okay. Heart of the cards. Dragon Rush hit. And you have got to be kidding me. Glamis took down Victory Bell. Fantastic! Holy crap! Did not expect that to ever happen. Erica is going to send out Blossom, and now it is time to bring out our big hitter, bring out Zuko, because Glamis did the job, took down Erica's highest level Pokemon. That is amazing. That makes me very, very happy. All right, Blossom is also level 56. Don't go easy on me. Give me everything you've got, and all of a sudden she turned into an old lady. All right, we're going to go for the Blast Burn. I'm sure that's going to take down this little poor looking thing, uh, w w a dre uh, uh, hula hoop dancer, I don't know. Whatever, it's super effective, Blossom is down, we gained some XP, Glamis gained some XP, grew to level 52, good for us, we defeated the leader Erica. Looks like I underestimated you, we got 67.20 for winning. Oh, I can see defeat, you are remarkably strong, I shall give you the rainbow badge. We received the rainbow badge from Erica. That is the third out of eight badges here in the Kanto region. Five more to go. That was a 
delightful match. I felt inspired. Please, I wish you to have this TM-19 as a special token. It is Giga Drain. It is a wonderful move that drains half the damage it inflicts to heal your Pokemon. It is indeed a horrifying move. We obtained TM-19. Sounds like a lot of fun. Sounds like something I would like to use on Pokemon. Losing leaves a bitter aftertaste, but knowing after that that there are strong trainers spurs me to do better. Losing leaves a- Okay, thank you. Thank you for the knowledge. And it seems like at long last, we have officially defeated Erica. And now, this is going to be fun getting out of here. Yes, yes, yes. This is going to make things fun. I'm pretty sure we can just chop through here and get the heck out, though. Because now we have officially defeated our third gym leader in Kanto, which makes things pretty dang awesome. Except leaving this place, which is always gonna be hell of course getting out of this place is gonna be the hardest part of the whole freaking gym let me just go ahead and go out the way i came because i don't see what else there is for us to do here let me just go uh the, these little girls down here gave me a little bit of trouble but you know what overall it was a fun match and uh i had a blast with it so where the heck do we go from here um i do not know so if you guys do know where we're headed up next who we will be taking on then let me know just you know let me know what's going on let me know how the heck we're gonna get there and all that crazy stuff because i i'm gonna have to figure it out i know that in this place you can kind of figure out where you want to go you can choose on your own so that's what we will be doing we're gonna be choosing it up and figuring out where exactly it is we need to go from here and uh hopefully it'll be the right decision because there's a lot of crazy stuff that we can do so thank you guys so much for watching in the next episode we'll go where do you guys want to go just let me know what you think we should do and we'll do it thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next episode goodbye